I'm so excited to bring this mukbang to you guys today. Welcome to Mukbang Monday. My name is Joe. You're watching Jamly TV. If this is your first time here, please consider hitting that subscribe button down that way. And if you've been here before, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for coming back to watch some more. So uh, usually on the mukbangs, I'm without a shirt. So let's check out you guys' vote. It was a really close vote, but just kidding. Overwhelmingly, you guys, 63% of you said, keep the shirt on. So here we go. Sorry, Nacho Ben Niumata. I had to keep the shirt on. The people voted. Next time you need to pull some weight, like put it in your story or something. Take Joe's shirt off. Take Joe's shirt off. <laughs> Wearing the shirt by Tanoa. Tanoa is an awesome company. I really love them. I really appreciate their work here in Samoa. So please support Tanoa. All right. So today's mukbang is actually from a takeaway place because I decided that takeaway places are where I'm going to do mukbangs from now on. I'm not going to do any kind of restaurant mukbangs anymore. I'm only going to do restaurant reviews now. And mukbangs will come from the takeaway places because there's so many takeaway places here in Samoa where you don't just sit, there's no place to sit down you just go grab the food and leave and head out so today's takeaway place mukbang monday is mckenzie's so what we have today is yeah palifucalo looks good the big plate is oh, 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 oh check out that piece of chicken right there looky 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 oh my goodness i'm so excited check this food out oh Oh, you can taste it, can't you? Have you guys ever been to uh, McKenzie's before? Delicious options over there. I got two barbecue plates, some kalo, and then a nice little surprise. We'll see how that works out. But this is just a beef plate. And then here's my little surprise. We'll wait on that one. Oh man, I don't even know where to start on this thing. First off, thank you guys so much for watching the live video we did the other day. Let's start with some fucking. Um, we did that live video, I guess it's been, oh, it's been a couple weeks now. Have you guys ever eaten at McKenzie's before? I don't know if I asked that already, but this is my first time like getting their whole plate. And it comes with kalo. This kalo is kind of dry. It needs, it needs some pit bay. Yeah, I'm just not a fan of their kalo. Sometimes it's delicious. Most of the time it's pretty, pretty dry. They don't boil it in enough coconut milk or something. A little bit of flies out here. I'm kind of nervous on like how I should be eating now because last time I had kalo or fai, you guys were like, oh, you should be dipping it in this other thing and you should be, yeah, I know, I get it. But I don't have any like real dipping stuff today. Okay, I'm just getting in this chicken. Haha, <laughs> look at that piece of chicken. It's as big as my face. I'm probably gonna get some hate here for getting rid of the skin. I just, I'm not a big fan of chicken skin. Never have been, even when I was little and when we were living in Samoa. Even then, I didn't eat chicken skin. Man, I some good chicken. Delicious. You can always count on their chicken being really, really nice and tender. Um, this one I got right off the grill. We'll see. I'll try this other piece. That one wasn't off the grill. Hey, thanks for letting me keep my shirt on today. So usually the reason why I take my shirt off is because I want to keep myself accountable to my goals of losing weight. There you go. Put it on the box so you can see it. Usually I want to keep myself a little bit accountable. You guys voted for me not to be accountable today, so I appreciate that. I gotta tell you, I'm very happy with this chicken. I did get that extra piece of chicken and it cost me five tala. I feel like it was only supposed to cost me three. I'm not sure, but no man, five tala, three tala is delicious and definitely worth five tala anyway. I think normally it comes with muli pp, but the kingdom's not a fan of muli pp. I just asked for another piece of chicken. Okay, you guys have seen enough of this chicken, but you need to understand that it is glorious and moist and delicious. Mm. Oh man, oh good. So, I've kind of been on a little bit of a diet. That's not why I haven't filmed the mukbangs. Just been really busy. Ever since Alicia went back to the States to sell our house, for those of you that didn't know, she went back to the States to sell our house. We had some renters there and the renters were awesome, but they wanted to buy the house. And right when they asked, we're like, heck no, get out of here. And then we sat down with the owner of Rosie's Burgers to tell him how preposterous the idea was. But then we started talking about our five-year goals. Our five-year goals have changed since we came out to Samoa. When we left the States, originally we wanted to stay here in Samoa for, for two and a half years. But after being here, we changed our plans a little bit. 
mac salad, and rice. For those of you that have been to L&L's in the States or in Hawaii, I haven't found a mac salad here in Samoa that can compete with L&L's at all. Or what's that other place? There's a place in Haula. Uh, shoot. Tell me in the comments below. I can't remember what it is. My sisters know it and my brother knows it. Why did that place come? Anyway, put it in the comments below. That place is awesome. But the mac salad in Samoa can't hold the stick. Can't hold the candle. Can't hold the stick. Can't shake a stick. I can't remember. What's the saying? To mac salad at l and L's and that other place that I can't remember. The barbecue chicken is different, but still tasty. This piece right here is a piece that wasn't fresh off the grill. It was in the, in the warmer pot. And you can kind of tell. I mean, look at this plate. This plate is ten tala. That's a pretty good deal, I'd say. Two pieces of chicken, sapsui, rice, mac salad for ten tala. I mean, it weighs probably... A pound and a half or something. I'm excited to get into the sapsui though. It seemed like a lot of you guys really loved the last video that we did. Oh, woo! My big fat lips can't get out of the way of my teeth fast enough. Oh, that hurt, man. It seemed like a lot of you guys really liked the last video, which you can see up there. The reasons why we moved to Samoa. A little background information on that. That video was probably the hardest one to do that we've ever done. Even though like all the footage was already there, still the hardest one we had to do. And the reason why it was so hard was because we have so much footage to go through. We don't know if there's a better way to tag footage or something. Anyway, it just took a long time to go through. Plus, Alicia wrote that script. We talked about it a little bit. Alicia's the writer in the family. But didn't she nail it? It was like perfect from our hearts. And hopefully you guys saw that. Mm, that piece was pretty dry. There you go. There's a nice look at it. Nice deep brown soy sauce. It needs a little bit more salt. But I think with a little bit more salt, it would be really good. Right now, it's just good. Fatli Fukalo, for those of you that don't speak Samoan like me, is the taro root that has been boiled in coconut milk with some onions. Coconut milk and onions are kind of a staple here in Samoan. Man, I really wanted this to be better than it is. It seemed like there's plenty of pe pe The Fatli Fukalo I bought outside of Mackenzie's. So I'm having a hard time chewing. <laughs> Funny, so I was licking my lips as I was looking at the camera, looking at the little screen over there. I'm licking my lips and I can't get the thing off my lips and I realize that it's because I put my finger on the camera. Flies, I swear. I realize I put my finger on the camera so that little spot is right where my lips are. If you guys enjoyed that video, please consider sharing it with your friends and family. Follow us on Instagram. Instagram is where we put all of our latest activities. We obviously can't film everything, right? Yep, look at that. That's a good shot for you. Mmm. We try to keep the Instagram stories full so that you guys can enjoy those. We try and do a good job with our stories because we understand that we're here in Samoa and most of you guys aren't in Samoa and you guys love to see Samoa. We appreciate the love and support that you guys have given us our YouTube channel and our Instagram. It's pretty incredible. We have 14,000 subscribers now, which is awesome. We still got a long ways to get to our goal. We know that we have to make content in order to get to our goal. And who knows, maybe there's a miracle that's coming in the latter half of November and all of December that'll get us to that mark of 25,000. That's a personal goal that we set when we started the channel. We have a little ways to go still, but with you guys' help, I'm sure we can make it. So here's some beef. Mmm, beef. Oh yeah, oh yeah, mmm, 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 damn. That was really good. Seems like Mackenzie's really knows how to make their beef and their chicken because those are definitely better than the kalo, the mac salad, and the sapsui. Maybe just go make that at home by yourself. Get a whole plate of chicken for 10 bucks or a plate of beef. Because that stuff is really good. Mmm. It's really tender. It's pretty salty. Nice sugar to it, too. And maybe for some of you, especially those diabetics, because I know you're out there, probably too sugary for you. But, man, super tender. Sliced really nice and thin, as you can tell. But you can kind of see it's almost like a syrup on there. Because it's so, so sweet. Just a very little bit of fat, just enough to give you a little bit more flavor. Because some people don't like fat, me included. The fat that's on here is complementary to the meat, so don't worry about it. Just peel it off the bone, pop it in, chew it up, swallow it down. Okay, so this is the second piece of quote-unquote meat that I've seen in the sapsui. I don't know if you can see this, but 
it's just fat and I'm not a fan of just straight out fat yeah there you go give it to the cats that roam around here anyway so if I'm reading sap suey, I'm gonna go against my mom my mom makes some excellent sap suey. Let's call hers a 10, because let's face it, your mom's sop suey is also a 10. And if it's not a 10, don't tell her. This sop suey compared to my mom's, this one's probably, it's not the worst I've ever had. Far from the best, probably like a five, maybe a six. With some salt, a little bit more soy sauce maybe, maybe it'd be a seven. But I do like the vegetables in there. The meat, not good. The rice, I know rice is hard to mess up, but you can, so the rice is good rice. Good rice. My brother Johnny and my brother-in-laws, Erwin and Colo, they all make really, really good show you barbecue chicken. So let's say that they're 10. This barbecue chicken is probably, let's say it's probably like a seven, uh, maybe seven and a half. And the reason is because the chicken is good. It's just slightly dry, brings it down a notch for me. And then it's not cut as well as what my brother and brother-in-law do because they're really good at getting all the cartilage out and stuff. And honestly, some ones don't really care about that. If you're one of those that likes to chew on cartilage, you'll probably give this a nine. But for the plastic salmon that I am, here's a seven. Look at that golden brown. Mmm. Yeah. You can taste it through the camera, huh? Mmm. Really good. Really good. Okay, Fatlifu Kalo from outside Mackenzie's as compared to the Fatlifu Kalo that my sisters can make. Theirs is a 10. I'd say it's probably a 5. You can see how dry it is there. There's not enough pe pe to really kind of combat the dryness inside the Kalo. But still really good and better than you can get in the States right now. <laughs> the other thing that I wanted to let you guys know, we have a big announcement coming up soon. Uh, see what I mean? Now it was boneless, skinless, and not there is a massive bone. That's why it's only a seven and not a 10 like my brothers. I'm gonna compare the short rib beef to L&L's because I think that a lot of you guys have eaten at L&L's before. And if you haven't, just think about what your 10 is in Australia or in New Zealand because maybe you guys haven't tried L&L's. But if L&L's is a 10, which I really like the short ribs at L&L's, this is probably a seven and a half. I think it's probably an eight. It would be a 10 if it weren't as sweet as it is. And honestly, if you mix it up with rice, let's do that. Oh uh, yeah, there's a good bite for you. This is probably gonna be a 10 bite. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I was right. Mm, that was really good. We have something really cool coming up. We've been working on merch for you guys. Unfortunately, it's not available in New Zealand or Samoa right now. Mm, sorry, but definitely available in Australia and the United States and lots of Europe. It's a partnership that YouTube has with Teespring and Teespring only ships to certain destinations. So when you see our merch, make sure to pick something up for yourself or your friend, especially because Christmas is coming up. Last announcement. Okay, before I talk to you guys about our affiliate program through NordVPN, I wanna remind you to stay to the end of the video so that you can enjoy this special treat with me. It's worth it. As an American living overseas, we lost things like American Netflix and access to HBO and things like that when we moved over here because we're in the wrong region. Well, NordVPN actually solves this problem. What you do is you purchase a three-year plan from them and it only costs three dollars per month for those three years so it's like a hundred bucks which is 70 percent off when we moved over here we couldn't watch hbo anymore we couldn't log into our netflix anymore and see some of the american shows we were trying to watch the office and we couldn't watch it by signing up with nordvpn we can choose where our internet connection is from so we can move our internet connection so that it looks like it's not here in samoa it looks like it's in america or it looks like it's in new zealand or hong kong or like 56 other countries or something like that so if there's a movie on netflix that you can't find in america search it find out where it's at and then put your server in that other country with nordvpn and it's super super easy so you just pull up the app you can see that right now i'm connected to the united states so i'll disconnect from the united states by clicking that button disconnected then let's say that i want to be in new zealand so i can click that button right there and then click quick connect takes it a second and then it's connected. So now all my internet traffic is routed through New Zealand. So anything on Netflix New Zealand that isn't available in America, I can watch in New Zealand now. In New Zealand now. So really awesome. And if you follow our link, which is in the description below, you can get 70% off of a three year plan. So crazy deal, only $3 per month in order for you to be able to get that massive benefit. It also protects you from hackers and stuff because it's a dedicated server so that people can't snoop into your transmissions, which is a common problem today. Anyway, this is not sponsored by by NordVPN. We use NordVPN. This link below is an affiliate link with Nord. So we do get a small portion of whatever it is that you guys sign up for. We appreciate the support. Oh, forgot the last treat. Okay, so check it out. Got some Oka for you today. The Oka is in the refrigerator when you go in there. Okay, so there's cucumber in there. 
Coconut milk, a nice amount of lime, makes it really nice and refreshing. Mmm, okay, so, so far so good. This was five tala, so great value for the price. Wow, oh, okay. That fish was tender. Mmm, so you guys know that my auntie makes the best oka and palusami on the island. Man, auntie's oka and palusami is a 10. I'm really excited about this oka, especially because it's only five tala. And that first piece of fish, oh man. And that one, holy cow, so creamy. Look at that. Mmm. 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 So this is by far the best thing that's at McKenzie's. No doubt about it. Look at that. Oh, man. Mmm. Mmm. Trimming problems again. That was a massive piece of cartilage. But I'll forgive it because everything else in this oka has been so amazing. Holy cow. And you dig down more and you get even more. Oh, you guys are going to be so mad at me for eating oka with a fork again. But I just forgot to get a spoon. Oh, look. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, Auntie's Oka is a 10. This is a 9. The only problem was the trimming problems, but man, for 5 Tala, besides my Auntie's, this is the best. When you're considering value as well as taste, man, I don't know if they're consistent because this is my first time having their Oka, but if they're consistent, mm, mm, more cartilage issues. If they're consistent, this is the stuff. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Hope you guys enjoyed that mukbang. It was really fun. I really enjoyed Mackenzie's barbecue as I always do. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Give it a comment below about where your favorite barbecue place is in Samoa. Maybe we'll go check it out for you. Consider hitting that subscribe button down that way if you haven't already. We'll see you soon. Manuela so fa.